Hello my friends, I am Fuzzy and as always we are playing, ba uh, not Baldur's Gate, wow, good one Steve, no, we are playing <laughs> Simon the Sorcerer, this is not Baldur's Gate. Wow, very sophisticated, itchy though. I was just on autopilot there. Right, let's go back into a dwarf mine. Alright mate, alright, what's the password then? We know it's beer. Is it beer? You may pass. Right on. Right, remember how we couldn't get past this guy last time? I'm pretty sure we can, uh... We can bribe him with a little beer. Stop! Guard! Get rid of him! Duty dwarves only! I am a duty dwarf. No, you're not. Fair enough. So naff off! Naff off yourself. Again, we already had this conversation, but I lost my save game, so, you know. Whatever, I think we can bribe him with a bit of beer. Care for some beer, by any chance? I'm on duty, but I suppose one mag can't hurt. Do, do, do. Bring it down, will you? Okie dokie. Do, do, do. This way. Do, do. Bring it over here. Now, how about a drinking competition? No thanks, mate. Got things to do while you get drunk on duty. I'm so responsible. It's just, I, you know, I'm just always looking out for people. I could tell he was God. bored. God! Time for a sharp exit. Where is that lazy slug? He must have gone for a beer break. Oh, yeah. Hi ho, hi ho, it's up to where we go. La 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 Yeah, okay, we've had enough of your singing, thank you. Whew. Wow, that was cool. Oi! Get out of here! This is restricted area. I've come to make you an offer. Really? What sort of an offer? Hmm. Well, maybe we can think of something. I've got something in my inventory that you want. What's that then? Well, you know what? Beer works all the time, so we'll just use beer a second time, but use a voucher. That doesn't work. Yes, it does. That doesn't work. Yes, it does. I'm sure it does. Oh, no. Not use, but give. Good one. What's this? Happy hour at the drunken druid and a free voucher? How can I ever repay you? It's a very nice pile of gems you've got there. Nice pile of gems you got there. Just one, though. Yay! Got a gem. Here you are. Now clear off. Okie dokie. And stay out. That's not very nice. Yeah, we're not gonna sure, stay. Sure. We're not gonna stay here. I hope, I hope it's our There's not any fantastic conversation with those dwarves, I don't think, and to be honest, it's gonna be painful for you guys. I feel sorry for anyone wearing headphones if it's too loud. Right. Oh, hang on. Sorry about that, guys. I just had to quickly go and do something. Right. I'm not wandering around wearing this beard. Okay. It's too itchy. Fine. I enjoy walking around with a beard, but whatever. Ah, that's better. Right. Now we've got our little gem there. Let's uh. Let's talk to the hole. 
Hello? Is there anybody down there? Ain't nobody here but us chickens. Have you got a permit for this, sir? Permit? Do you not know who I am? You're a pirate looking for buried treasure? No, I'm the famous Dr. Von Jones. The famous who? Philistine. I'm the most famous paleontologist in the world. I'm looking for the missing link between man and vegetable. <laughs> You mean Dan Quayle? No, I mean fossils, my boy. They are the key to this mystery. You haven't seen any lying around, have you? I just happen to have one right here. You have a fossil? This is excellent. Give it to me quickly. There we go. We've got a fossil to give to him. Catch! I don't believe it! This is an extremely lucky find indeed. It's an amoeba from the Cambrian period. This could be it. Will I be as famous as you for this? Of course, of course. Just tell me where you found this specimen, my boy. It's in the craggy peaks. I left my metal detector there. Excellent. I shall journey there immediately. Let me just get my things together. Righty ho. That's fat done with there. We've used a fossil with the guy. And now, let's go back to the village. Why not? So we've got some unfinished business with the dodgy geezer, I would say. Fortunately we've got something you might be interested in now. And you know what that might be guys? I think you do. Let's give him a gem. Hey mate, you interested in a priceless gem? Give it. I'll have a look at it. Hmm, this is nice. Very nice. Dwarven, I'll wager. Mm, it's one of those gems that changes colour. I'll give you four pieces for it. Don't make me laugh. I want at least 40. 40 gold pieces? Huh. I won't go any higher than 10. Hmm, so I'm going to need to part with him a little bit. Hmm, it's an improvement, but still daylight robbery. Okay. 15 pieces, but only because I like the look of you. Sorry, I promised my associates I would get at least 20. Okay, okay. 18 gold pieces it is. Pardon? Uh, 20 then. But drive a hard bargain, no mistake. Yes. I better go and put it somewhere safe. Bye. I wonder how he did that. Oh no, I want to pick up some of his priceless junk there. Oh, I can't. Shame. Right, let's go... Blah. Let's go back to the shop and buy something with our hard-earned money. The asparagus jelly goes here with all the other jellies. Yeah, I, I disagree. It should be put here with the other vegetables. I right. say it goes here. And I say it goes here. I would like to buy this. That will be two gold pieces. Okay, here you are. There we go. Let's get ourselves. It Aha. comes with a free nail. Anything else, sir? I just like to browse. Right. Um, because the uh, thing will be a bit thing thing. What am I? What am I saying? The hammer and nail will become very useful. There's something else we need to buy here. Um, where is it? So hard to find all the things we need. Uh, let's look at the, is it here. They are bleach, detergent, washing powder, and window cleaner. No, it's not over there. Where is it? Where is it? Uh, you're just going to have to give me a second go. This is what I was having a problem looking for. Let's pick up the white spirit there. That's very difficult to I would to like see. to buy this. That will be one gold piece. Righty-ho. Okay, 
Here you are. Right. Anything else, sir? I just like to browse. By that I mean I'm out of here. Yes, indeed. Right. We'll quickly go and sort some other stuff out. And we need to go to the center of the forest for that. Right. We need to go back to Swampy's house, actually. Yeah, that's what we need to do. Sorry, I was trying to think ahead. Um, yeah, we need to go to Swampy's house. And then we can use the hammer and nail we just bought for something. So that's good. It's all about just obtaining random items, and I mean, the only reason I'm not having to do tons of backtracking is because I know what to get at what point to save me having to go, oh, I need to get this item, I need to go all the way back here and work out what I need to do. You know. Okay, let's move the uh, chest here. Swampy's still not back, I see. Oh, look. There's a trapdoor. Let's go through here. See where we can get to. I apologise in advance for what I'm about to do. Whoa, uh, this plank is loose. Whoa, uh, this plank is loose. Whoa, uh, this plank is loose. Whoa, uh, this whoa, uh, this plank is loose. <laughs> Sorry. That <laughs> never gets old. I'm such a child, but... Okay. Let's stabilise this plank so we can walk across. Again, some wonderful music in this area. I love the swamp music. Right. Somewhere around here, there's something we need to get. Frogsbane. That's what we need. Let's pick up the frogsbane. And use the map to go to the dragon's cave. And with that, we shall end this episode, because we've made some good progress here, and it's gone on long enough. I'm kind of hungry, this is like the sixth consecutive episode I've recorded, and I'm going to go and have some lunch, so I'll see you next time, guys.